Hey gang, welcome back to another episode of Rotator Cuff Expert. I'm Dr. Orcutt, and today we're gonna to talk about um, HBO and not home box office and not that uh, not the streaming HBO Max, but HBO meaning hyperbaric oxygen. Does hyperbaric oxygen actually help um, the rotator cuff heal after rotator cuff surgery? Uh, and so this is a good question. I had a couple of people ask about this. I think um, in general, uh, we have to kind of look at the idea. Well, one, like what is HBO anyway? And um, once we understand what HBO is, how could it help? And what what we know about it helping in some things, um, but maybe not helping in all things. Hyperbaric oxygen, there's kind of two pieces to hyperbaric oxygen. One, you have to have pressure, greater than one atmosphere of pressure. Now, depending on what kind of hyperbaric chamber you're in, because you got to go into a chamber, whether it's a single chamber or where a bunch of people are in there, uh, it'll just determine what the pressure exactly is. So it's one atmosphere of pressure is what you are at normal. It's got to be bigger than one atmosphere of pressure. And then you breathe in pure oxygen. Um, and so those two things are what what creates the hyperbaric oxygen. So it's gonna push the oxygen into your into your system. You know, you, you can get too much, if you get too much oxygen, too much pressure, it can actually create uh, problems, health problems too. So, um, but in general, probably all the places that you would go to for HBO, um, they would um, they would be in the, within the range, it's safe, obviously. Uh, you need to check that out and, and, and make sure you go in a reputable place, uh, but in general, safe. And so there's, there's some, some studies out there that do show that HBO can help wounds to some degree. So if you can imagine you're pushing in the oxygen into the system, into the lungs, then to the, then to the blood vessels and into the capillaries, uh, if you push that into the cells, that you would think, okay, well, that can't be bad. Uh, and in fact, there is some improvement uh, in uh, a lot of times, uh, depending on the wounds of surgery, you know, typically when we talk about rotator cuff repairs, we have little incisions in this area is not particularly difficult to heal. And so we're not, we don't normally have problems with wounds. Obviously every once in a while we do, if we do a bigger incision, sometimes maybe we do uh, older patients, uh, more sick patients than maybe, but in general, when we look at rotator cuff repairs, usually we're talking about little incisions. But that being said, we do know uh, from some studies that actually uh, there is some improved uh, healing um, because of the amount of blood vessels uh, and the, the amount of oxygen getting to the system. Uh, also, if there's more oxygen, that actually helps the, the antibacterial cells, the white blood cells, the neutrophils. Uh, it helps them actually be more efficient and kill bacteria better. So that's good. Again, that's not usually the problem in our shoulder surgeries, um, but it's probably a good thing in someone who's not particularly healthy uh, or has bad diabetes, has um, uh, avascular, which means the blood vessels are not very good getting to that, that site. It probably will help that. And there's some good studies that show that. There's some um, a study out of uh, therapeutic advances of musculoskeletal disease. Sorry, I didn't remember that. I had, didn't, I couldn't keep that all in my head at once. Uh, Marquez uh, et al. Uh, in April of 2021, we do get an anti ischemic event. So we actually ischemia and hypoxia. Uh, how much blood and how much oxygen it helps. Both of those help uh, if you do HBO, and that's probably why it helps in the wounds. So they showed some good data that um, that if we look at uh, some Olympic they quote a study, they, it's not their study, they quote a study about uh, the Olympics in Japan, in Nagano, Japan, uh, where if they did HPO in the participants after their races, after their um, events, they recovered faster. So usually it was two to six sessions in 30 to 40 minute sessions of HPO. It will, it will help the athletes um, recover faster probably because of the lactic acid and, and we can get lactic acid, we can get the ammonia out faster if we have big, better blood blood flow and oxygen. Now that's different, right? That, that's what we call soreness after, um, after activity. That's not really what we have in rotator cuff repairs. And so although it may help in recovery after an event, uh, we have another study from back in 2011 as well. Owens et al. on the Journal of Surgical Orthopedic Advances. Uh, actually, um, they did a study, interesting study, where they, they took rats, those poor rats, the rats always get screwed. They cut their Achilles tendon, and then they repair the Achilles tendon, and they put them in HBO, so 
pressurize, high oxygen content, and then they sacrifice them at three weeks and six weeks, and they look at the ultimate tensile strength of that tendon, that tendon repair, and there was no difference. So what do we conclude from that? Well, we conclude that there is a purpose for HBO and the purpose for HBO for wounds, wounds in areas where we might already be ischemic or hypoxic. Again, like in the diabetic population, sometimes mastectomy population, some other areas where we may not have great blood flow, blood supply to those areas of those wounds, that probably HBO can help. If we look at HBO as a adjunct to help heal rotator cuff, tendon back to bone, it doesn't look like it probably does. I don't think it'll hurt you, um, but I don't know that it will help you. I think that uh, if you have a lot of money and you want to go ahead and do it, I think that's fine. It'll, it'll probably heal your wounds up faster, but it probably is not going to help your uh, rotator cuff heal any faster. So there it is, HBO, good for wounds, maybe not helpful for rotator cuff repairs. Thanks again. Again, remember, please, to like, subscribe, leave comments, check out our, our website, my, mybodyprotective.com. Check out our um, private Facebook group, Rotator Cuff Repair Expert and Rotator Cuff Expert. The Rotator Cuff Repair Experts is public. Rotator Cuff Expert is the private group where we get together and talk more about specific details on the rotator cuff uh, in recovery after surgery. Also remember um, our notebook. Uh, you need to make sure you can document your recovery after surgery. And our website, we have our notebook um, to help you organize it. If you don't want to buy our notebook that's fine go back to our video on what should you be putting in a notebook if you're going to do it yourself as well it's really important for you to track your progress after after surgery what you know what some people say if it's not measured it doesn't matter uh so we need to measure your pain level your 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 activity your sleep uh, all those kind of things and a notebook will help you be able to do that because it's really hard to keep your track of that each day is difficult especially after after surgery anyway thanks again and we'll talk to you soon